I'm actually going to try to keep this video short and just talk about what I want to talk about, <laughs> which is what I usually do anyway. But um, so I just I, I have a bunch of ideas for this uh, new theme that I'm creating, um, and 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 I will be the absolute first to admit that this um, this entire theme of you know space um, uh, moon base stuff, the vehicles thus far. Um, even going forward with the little vehicles that I'm creating now and the other ideas that I have, it's completely derivative. This, this, there is nothing new here at all. There are no new building techniques. <laughs> there are, this is eighties and nineties style building straight up. Uh, I know it click hinges. Um, there's not a piece in here that, uh, wasn't quote unquote available back in the eighties and nineties with all the. Um, Spireus and all the other sets that came out in the late 80s, 90s, and 2000s. There's nothing in here that's uh, unique uh, building concepts. Um, and uh, not a lot of um, the snot. And for those of you who don't know what snot means, it means studs not on top. So normally when you build in the old school days, all the studs face up. And the new ways of building like that tree over there, um, if these pieces had studs, they'd be sideways, down, everywhere, which way. And that's what they call snot building, uh, snot building technique, technique, <laughs> technique. Um, I'm an old school builder. Uh, uh, that thing, even though it's five and a half feet tall, is just studs up all the way to the top. From bottom to top, it studs up, bricks on top of bricks, uh, plates, bricks. Uh, again, hardly anything newer than 1989, <laughs> in there. Um, I, I'm an old school builder and I, I've tried to, uh, expand my building techniques. Um, I mean, I built pretty, pretty awesome robots back in the day. Um, you know, I don't have that picture here right now. I don't know where it is. doesn't matter. Um, but I, I'm, I'm old school and I don't mind being old school. And it's not that I can't learn or don't want to learn. Uh, it's just, it's not my style. And I, I, there's a whole other, again, I'm going off on tangents already. There's a whole other video where I talk about styles, uh, building styles. This is mine. Um, and I like it. I'm comfortable with it. And you, should I expand my horizons? Absolutely. Absolutely. And I, I've tried, but this is, um, uh, something I'm inspired to do, uh, this new quote unquote theme, the Dave's theme, <laughs> where I'm going to come up with a series of sets. Uh, I'm planning on at least eight to 10 separate sets um, from small, this is my sort of for small, to big, uh, moon base big. Uh, and there's still going to be a couple flyers. I haven't even started the flyers yet, but I have an idea for the flyers. Um, blah, blah, blah. And even a big, huge mother ship, it's not a mother ship, a big, huge... Um, there was that stupid movie that I did not watch and I will not watch, but it's when castles were attacking one another on a future earth, trying to steal resources. from one another. And I said, it looks worse than Pacific Rim. And I, I, I know if some of my friends love Pacific Rim, I cannot stand Pacific. And this is a guy, and I'm a guy who loves battleship. I cannot stand specific Pacific Rim as a movie. And, and, and what's his name to that? One, one of my favorite actors. Um, it's just such a, no plot movie. The, there is zero plot in that movie. It is battle bots versus Godzilla. That's the whole premise of the movie. That's the only premise of the movie. There was hardly any subplots. The anyway, I'm not here to critique movies, <laughs> but um, what was I going on about? All right, so that's uh, that stupid movie that came out a few years back that I wouldn't watch, and I still haven't watched, and I won't watch. But I remember the previews where these huge, huge cities on wheels were roving all over the planet, stealing from each other. Uh, fine. <laughs> Another CGI fest. Um, so I actually have an idea uh, to use these wheels, uh, these massive wheels that came in the uh, Mars missions um, or mission uh, Mars missions, whatever, um, uh, and and build a big, huge. Um, I don't know, roving building mecca, not mecca because mecca's walk. But anyway, I have an idea for it uh, with lots of cranes and lots of parts where I can, or all these things get stored basically. And you go to a spot and you build up from the big, huge roving, um, basically moon base 
uh, on wheels. Um, it's an idea. I don't know if I'm going to get there, <laughs> but that, that'll be the last thing I build. Uh, you know, so anyway, going back to this, uh, I, I, it's a small vehicle time. And, uh, and again, I also realize that any small vehicles that use these tires are going to look exactly like anything from Ice Planet 2002, <laughs> including the Ice Hat 5. Um, it's just the way it is. These tires have a, a specific look to them and they look, no matter what you do with them, they're going to look like they came out of Ice Planet 2002, even if you change colors. Uh, so it's going to be something that's derivative of Ice Planet now. Sorry. Uh, I mean, everything else has been derivative of Mtron and Blacktron 1 and all the other things that I've been doing. It's derivative. Absolutely. Sorry. Uh, no, I'm going to throw some Ice Planet in there. <laughs> Rock Raiders. <laughs> Uh, I, I liked Rock Raiders. Uh, it wasn't my favorite. I don't think I owned them all. Um, but it was a cool thing. It was just like Aquanauts and all the other ones that I did not bother to try to collect all of them uh, like I did with Classic Space. But uh, I bought a bunch. And okay, so this is story time with Dave. Um, so my nephews, my brother's kids, were born in the 90s. Um, and... Well, I guess one was born in the early 2000s. And I basically, uh, every Christmas and every birthday for them, I would buy them Lego sets because I'm Uncle Dave. And of course, of course, since I'm Uncle Dave, I'm going to buy them Lego for Christmas and their birthdays. <laughs> uh, yes, it's completely expectation. Uh, they loved it. Uh, what I, I haven't met a kid yet who doesn't like getting Lego for Christmas or the birthday. I do, and I'm 54. <laughs> so it's, but uh, they liked it. Uh, my brother wasn't so happy with me because there's Lego to step on, but whatever. So I gave my nephews a whole bunch of Lego for Christmas and birthdays over the years that they were growing up. And, uh, it was, it wasn't, I, it wasn't, I don't know how many years ago, but Sandy was here, Josh was here, we were married. Um, and my brother gives me a steamer tote, <laughs> like a big, huge steamer trunk, uh, with all the Lego that I gave his kids. I said, dude, you're giving it back. Your kids are going to have kids soon. No, no, no. Uh, I want it out of the house. So all the sets that I bought through the late 90s or mid 90s, because I think my oldest nephew is born in 91 or whatever, um, through through the mid to late 90s and into 2000s, all those sets. Uh, so Aquanauts, <laughs> Rock Raiders, <laughs> like, all of them. They all came, even Harry Potter, the beginning of Harry Potter in 2000, like that. I bought, so this is a little tangent. I, I, I uh, on clearance, I can't remember where, uh, Harry Potter train from series one, uh, when Harry Potter first showed up in the, uh, the, the, I can't remember the train, uh, Harry Potter's drawing a blank in my mind. Anyway, they had, they released a train set. I bought two copies, one for me <laughs> and one for my nephew. And I gave him uh, the set for Christmas or his birthday. Uh, got it back, like in the box, the box was still there with the instructions, like he built it and stuff, but I'm going, Oh, well, okay. So I actually got a lot of aqua, aqua zones. Um, and, uh, and all those other sets that came in out in the uh, late nineties, early nineties and, and 2000s and, and rock readers was some of them. So, um, anywho, uh, got those back from my brother. Thank you. Um, and now they're sorted into the collection. So uh, it's not like I didn't buy the sets before I bought them, but usually for other people. Um, but now they all came back and I'm using them and having fun with them. But anyway, so I, I am building these small vehicles and the whole purpose when I built this thing, this, this platform, this, this flatbed originally, uh, let me just pull this off. Uh, so another quick tangent, the white, uh, if you saw my previous videos, the white means that these are pieces, temporary pieces that I've ordered uh, the right colors on BrickLink, <laughs> but I have to keep on building. So the white is a, is a temporary placement holder for future. Um, so this one's complete. It has the orange and gray on it. Um, but anyway, so this was always going to be uh, the base of my mini vehicles uh, because that's, I have a lot of those orange tires over there. And and, and th they were always going to be sitting right there to be transported around. So that was another premise of the flatbed. So um, when the flatbed was built originally, uh, one of the, one of the multi facets of the flatbed was to carry mini vehicles around just like that. Now, you have to get the mini vehicle on and off 
the flatbed. Now, originally I was just gonna put a magnet somewhere on here and just have a crane pull it off, right? That, that That's, again, derivative <laughs> of mega core magnetizer. But that was gonna be a premise, or even to have somehow the, 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 the outriggers be able to do that, but no, the outriggers are just gonna be doing outrigger stuff. Um, so uh, I decided to build ramps to get these things on and off, uh, removable uh, ramps. So what I did, and again, I should quickly drop this thing into, I should have done this originally. Uh, I'm gonna put this into my phone holder. Um, and so I came up, this was my original, original idea. Again, just basically ripping off my previous ideas of the, the magnet holder to make a long train of vehicles uh, to join the flatbeds together. And so I came up with this idea and it is so singularly uninspired. Like I will be the absolute first to admit that this is the most uninspired thing I've ever seen. <laughs> it's like, oh really? <laughs> it's like meh, this is the hundred percent meh. <laughs> but again, it goes with the theme. So again, you, you plug it into the front, it uh, it has it's, it's a little ramp there, right? Then it's a ramp, it, it, and it works as a ramp, and it comes off, and so these things come down, the outriggers come down, and the thing dries off, dries off. Okay, so that's that's perfect, right? It does the job, but is completely, completely uninspired. Um, I tried to redeem it by making it smaller. Um, it's completely again uninspired, <laughs> like whatever like it's just it's a ramp and how much how, how cool can you make a ramp i don't know but this is completely not cool but it does the job right and it, and it, and it fits with the motif of uh parts and pieces and swappability and maybe uh future state with the other bigger vehicles like the 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 air carriers I'm going to make, blah, blah, blah. Maybe this would also come in handy for that. Then you can repurpose them for that. So, you know, maybe it'll be multi-purposed, but I found this thing to be completely, completely uninspired. So I then try to, and let's put this aside. Well, actually, no, just do this one here. So this one that has all the right colors because this only time as I ran out of the colors. But anyway, um, I decided to build it right into the, the flatbed right there. So it, well, let me just take these pieces off of here, these fence pieces off of here. And I'm going to probably have to rebuild that so it doesn't do that. Because now, basically, you just put the ramps right onto the flatbed when you need them. And then you remove them when you don't need them. And again, so in, in universe, the constructor guys would have to, you know, quote unquote, move uh Add and or remove the ramps when necessary. So this goes in. You know, the the, the outriggers come up. Outriggers come up, and the fences go like that. And then you, and this thing is now. Let's go in universe now. So now it's a well. Let's just put the cab on it, and the cab drives around. Right, piece of cake. <laughs> drives to wherever it has to go, and then uh, when it gets there, the outriggers come down. Uh, blah 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 in universe again these now, now maybe i'll just do it for the back but again the the actual flatbed should be symmetrical from front to back but whatever and this thing comes off done right piece of cake that is a little less uninspired than these guys the other guys wherever they went um these two it's it's a little less because it adds to the flatbed you know got some orange in there and whatever it adds to the flatbed and uh, the problem is that you take them off, right? You know, uh, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to stick with this, uh, this one, or do built-in. I'm going to leave them together. I'm going to leave these things here for now uh, as I continue to build. Because after I finish trying to come up with a premise that doesn't completely remind me of Ice Planet 2002. <laughs> and shape and form i'm going to uh go on to the aerial um i might build actually two or three small vehicles so i have this idea where um oh where did i put it yeah so again this is why it completely reminds me of ice planet 2002 because of course when you're moving when you're moving a moon base around that you're going to set up you know because it's going to be movable uh transportable like a mass unit um mobile 
That's the whole point of MASH, Mobile Army Surgical Hospital. That's what MASH stands for, in case you actually didn't know. Um, this is a mobile moon base. It's not going to be permanent. It's going to be able to drop into the, or be picked up by the big, huge vehicle I'm going to make. Uh, maybe. <laughs> and then with all these other th things, to have carried to the next position to be set up. Uh, I'm thinking uh, they're mineral resources or uh, like it's a temporary station that can be moved. So it's mobile uh, construction. Um, I have to come up with an acronym. I have to come up with a name for this theme, this series. But it, it, the whole purpose is mobile, mobility, which is why all these things have wheels. So that's why all these things have a modularity to them. That's why they're going to be mobile modular uh, and they can come apart and you can move them. And that's the whole idea of this theme. Uh, and so when you get to a new place, you have to make a flat ground. And this thing makes flat ground. I have a guy in here, wheel, you know, steering wheel, whatever. Uh, but it's going to look exactly like that sh uh, that little vehicle in Ice Planet. <laughs> like straight up, it already does. As soon as you put the blade on it, hey, that's Ice Planet. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, that's a derivative. Um, it is what it is. Uh, I, I'm not going to worry about it too much. I'm going to try to come up with something, but I want to use these tires, but there's no way I can use these tires without making it look like Ice Planet. Or even, or even uh, was it Unitron or Spirus? Um, with the big robots with the, these same tires on it. Um, I honestly can't remember now. Uh, it doesn't matter. The red and black robot, which I used to have. Oh, this guy. Well, I don't think I'm going to be able to leave now. I'm going to leave now. Without wrecking everything else, Josh is always having fun in here. Um, so this is my. Tilt this up now. There he is. <laughs> so I, I love this guy. I mean, it's a it's a classic space um, coloring of that uh, robot from I want to say Spirius. That's <laughs> probably not. Um, it's definitely not Robo... Uh, no, it wasn't RoboForce. It's Unitron. Anyway, I'll have to look it up. I'm tired now already. It's past midnight. But these tires are in the bottom, right? So, I mean, I was thinking about a stack of tires like that. But then that's going to be way too high for this and unnecessary for what I want to do. I think the three stack of three is perfect. And a little trailer with two uh, might be good too. Um, I'll put, put this back down. <laughs> so, uh, or or a little little two ve two uh, four wheel vehicle instead of a six wheel. See, this reminds me of the Argos. Now, uh, if you uh, were not growing up in the seventies, you probably don't know what an Argo is. It's a it's a little s s utility wheeled vehicle that would go through rivers. If you want, it floated like a like a little boat, but it had six wheels on it. Sometimes even eight. And I think they were invented by Canadian. Uh, and they're just um, skid steer steering, uh, which is always cool. Um, and they were used in silent running, 1972, uh, Bruce Dern, I think. Uh, a, not a famous movie, but honest to goodness, it is one of my favorite science fiction movies of all time. Um, silent Runnings. Um, it, is, it is complete ecological world disaster movie and it was a complete uh we have to respect nature movie absolutely is something that bruce Dern was, was a he was a hippie <laughs> from what i remember when i was a kid I, I can see why he made it i see why he started it uh but it is it is a decent movie and the spaceships for 1972 are utterly fantastic and i think they actually reused some of them like the agrodomes they reuse some of them in uh, Battlestar Galactica, the original series, as well as the first episode, the, the pilot episode of uh, the reboot of Battlestar Galactica, because that had a, a, a egg roast ship too. That got blown up real good. Uh, but that was complete, I believe it was a complete uh, appreciation of Silent Runnings uh, 1972. Uh, watch it. Uh, if you can, it's a great movie. I liked it. I, I haven't seen it in 15 years, I don't think. But uh, I did see it not, you know, 20 years ago, so I was well into my adulthood, and I thought it still held up. Uh, you know, the acting is the acting. Uh, the story is pretty straightforward. <laughs> it's like, there's no surprises in the movie at all. Uh, but it does have the beginnings of actual robotics in the movie, uh, playing pool, or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> 
<laughs> but uh, it was a cool movie. Uh, the little the little robots walking around are not actual robots. There's actually people inside those robots. Not to spoil the movie, um, but um, the, the there's a couple scenes with actual r robotic arms doing stuff, and those were actually robotic arms from 1972 doing stuff. Um, so that's it. Uh, I said I was trying to keep this short, 20 minutes. It's quote unquote short for Dave. <laughs> so. Uh, so I thought I'd give you a status update. Uh, I did find these ramps to be completely uninspired. Um, this is slightly better because it made the flatbeds look a little cooler. Um, I just don't like the fact that, you know, you have to remove them like that instead of pulling them off like that. But in the end, I'm thinking I might be doing this in the end, especially if I get the air carriers uh, going and these things could be used for that. So these things might be slightly modified to suit the air carriers in here. Uh, depends on how I build the air carriers. I haven't even started. I have a few ideas that are going to use some Axoforce orange slopes. <laughs> Those big huge. I don't know how long they are. Um, but um, so, yeah, so I'll be borrowing from Axoforce too. Just to give you an FYI that if you think this is not derivative enough, Axoforce is at least uh, some build techniques from Axoforce and uh, <laughs> and pieces and parts from Axoforce are going to make an appearance. Uh, so uh, there you are. Uh, I'm going to go to bed now. Uh, you guys all stay safe. Take care. Uh, wear your mask. The, 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 I, I, I get so depressed watching the news right now about how bad things are getting. And um, I'm tired of it. Honest to goodness, I'm tired of it. Um, I need this to stop. <laughs> I think we all need this to stop. I need I need people to respect other people. I'm not going to go into this now. Uh, you guys all stay safe. Take care. Uh, I will talk to you probably not this weekend. I'm going to be working on the trailer. We got the wood today. We're going to do some trailer work this weekend. And I don't know when I'm going to get back to this, but I got more ideas and when I get them, you'll see them. You guys all take care.